Welcome back. So far, we have seen what is mastery learning, how we at Khan Academy implement it on our platform, and how you can use mastery reports to provide personalized learning to all your students. In this video, we will go through the student experience while they work on achieving mastery. This will help you to guide your students through the platform. In order to begin their mastery journey, students need to log into the Khan Academy platform using their ID and password. After logging in, the students can see the Course Mastery tab on the left side of the screen. When they click on it, they can view the goal assigned along with the due date set by the teacher. Students can also see the progress bar indicating the percentage of goals attempted by them. On clicking the goal, the students reach the course homepage and they see a blue box that says Get Started. By clicking on this box, they start their course mastery journey. Smartphone users will be able to get the complete view by scrolling down. If you want the students to be accountable for their learning, they must know how to track their own progress. Every course has mastery points and the students can see these above the course summary at the top left corner. On the course homepage, the student can see all the units and their mastery points. Every unit has a progress bar next to it. The bar turns purple only when the student starts his mastery journey and shows the progress your students are making. Encourage them to check their progress on the purple bar. In order to teach your students about the level of mastery, you can request them to click on any one unit. You will be able to see a skills summary section, which shows the level of mastery attained by the student in a particular skill. Students can click on the question mark right next to the skill summary. You will be able to see a brief summary of different levels. We have already covered these levels in our previous videos. We recommend you take your students through these levels and explain to them the meaning of each of these levels at the start. This will help you in empowering students to take control of their learning and thus improve the skill mastery of your students. As your students start putting in efforts towards their mastery goal, you must stay connected with them and support them to push their levels up. Here are three ideas for you to play this role effectively. Idea 1. Remember that the course mastery goal is a long-term goal set by you. Students can't complete this goal in one go. They need to take small steps and keep leveling up. The secret to leveling up is consistency and a fixed routine. Fix days and times for reviewing the progress of your students. For example, you could check progress every Friday and decide the appropriate steps you want to take on the basis of the reports. You can have time allocated in your class on Monday to communicate with students and celebrate their progress. You can also train your students to check their mastery points and the mastery crown. Idea number two. Remember to share with your students that they can retry as many times till they earn a score they are happy with. They can level up their skills and scores by practicing the exercises, quizzes and unit tests again and again. Your role is to keep them motivated so that they keep trying. Idea number 3. If you see that some of the students are getting stuck and need extra support, encourage them to read articles, watch the videos and use hints. You may need to take these students through the steps involved in using Hint and accessing videos or articles. Now that we have covered how you can implement Course Mastery in your class, let's start using it in our classrooms, right? Here are two quick tasks for you. First, in case you haven't already done so, please assign a Course Mastery goal to your class. Second, please check how many mastery points you have earned so far in this course.